Video games are complex. The sprawling worlds, epic adventures, deep storylines, and sophisticated controls of games on the Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch are par for the course at this point. Gamers come to expect these type of games, and rightly so. As the medium evolves, so too do individual elements that make them so great. And then there's the Intellivision Amico, almost the antithesis of this entire concept of modern, complex game design. The Amico feels like it's trying to cater to the audience that the Nintendo Wii left behind. The casual crowd who just wants to have a good time sitting on the couch with their friends or family. Hey there, guildies. This is the Adventures Guild. I'm Steve, and this is the Intellivision Amico, a new home console releasing, hopefully, this October. Due to the uh, current global chip shortages, they've been understandably plagued with supply chain issues, but regardless, we should see the Amico sometime soon. Over the weekend, I had the pleasure of meeting Tommy Tallarico, the CEO of Intellivision. You might know him better as the guy who's worked on, well, quite literally hundreds of video games. As a matter of fact, he holds the Guinness World Record for that very thing. He's currently the brainchild behind the Amico, a simple to pick up and play game console, and Intellivision's first since the mid-1980s. Here's what I learned from my 45 minutes with the Amico, and speaking with Tommy. I got to play two games, Shark Shark and Astro Smash. Both games have a simple premise that takes you about three seconds to comprehend. Shark Shark is a four-player competitive game where you play as a fish, trying to eat any fish smaller than you. Eat the most fish, avoid getting eaten yourself, and you win. Astro Smash is even easier to understand. Four players, each with their own ship. The goal? Blast Asteroids. I played both games with my two sons. 10 years old and 6 years old. And guess what? We all had a great time playing them. And that right there is the crux of what makes the Intellivision so interesting. You're never going to see AAA, hyper-complex games on this system. Both by design and by hardware limitations, you just aren't. And that's okay. There's PlayStation, or Xbox, or the Switch, or your PC for that. What you are going to get are tons of pick-up-and-play couch co-op games that your kids will love playing with you. Games you'll get into highly competitive screaming matches with your friends over at a party. Now a moment ago I mentioned hardware limitations, and that's something I thought I'd address quickly. If you're even semi-familiar with the Intellivision, you've probably heard people trashing it on the internet because it runs on low-end hardware. After playing it myself, I can say without a doubt, it's a moot point. The system does what it's supposed to do. Both games I played looked great and played smoothly. I mean, maybe if they were trying to port Assassin's Creed Valhalla to this thing, there'd be reason to complain. But the Nintendo Switch has shown most gamers don't even care about top-end hardware. And for those that do, again, there's a ton of options out there. And I guarantee you there's precisely zero people over at Intellivision expecting this to be your primary game console. If you're playing the Amico, you're doing it to have fun or to have a quick laugh with your buddies for 30 minutes, enjoying a quick game. And now onto the controller. At first glance, you're probably thinking this thing is really bizarre. And to a point, it is. It's very different than any controller you've ever seen before. The face of the controller has two things, a 64 directional circle pad for movement and a touch screen that provides additional information. Uh, think clues about the game you're playing or revealing your cards in a game of poker so the other players can't see them. The top of the controller has two shoulder buttons. You also get haptic feedback and motion control. That's it. It's more like a souped up Wiimote than a typical controller. I'll tell you what though, for the two games that I played, it worked and felt great. The circle D-pad was very intuitive, especially in Shark Shark where you're swimming around underwater. Now the last thing I want to mention is pricing. Intellivision has stated all of their games will be priced between $3 and $10 at launch, and possibly as much as $15 later on for certain games, such as their upcoming console-exclusive Earthworm Gym game. That's right, they're getting an exclusive Earthworm Gym game. How they pulled that off? I have no idea. Magic, perhaps? Anyway, the games won't feature any paid DLC. It's like the good old days, when you get a complete game experience for one set price. Oh, how I miss those days. But maybe, just maybe, those days are about to have a renaissance with the Intellivision 
Amico. For the Adventurers Guild, I'm Steve, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.